Hey, I'd love to hear your thoughts about what we're doing here today. I think it's good. You think it is? Yeah. What's good? Stop abortion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you here for? Abortion is murder. Yeah. Christ so is king. Okay, yeah. I see what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, you want to join us today? What's hey, that? Hey. Question in the first place. I know exactly what's going on. Hey, okay, so, hey, so why, why would you get into some, you know, so, you're going to challenge me or something? Since, no. since, right. since you're with us, can I give you these to hand out? I've got enough here. Okay. Well, you ha only have one. Are you, are you a Christian, sir? What difference does that make if I am or not? I'm asking if you are. We're only asking about whether you support abortion or not support abortion. Well, what I do in my free time or whether I go to church or I don't yeah. go to church, I don't support it. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to ask me if I'm a Christian or not. Well, he that has nothing to do. Yeah. With I think what I think it actually that. has everything to do with it. Yeah. How's that? How's okay, that? so like if God doesn't exist, yeah, then murdering people isn't wrong inherently. It's not objectively wrong. Well, it depends, right? It no, depends. it doesn't depend. If God didn't exist, people still may decide I don't need to kill this child. Oh well, yeah, people can think that it's wrong to okay. kill. That's right. But that's just an opinion. See, if God exists, we which all, He does, all we have is opinions here anyway, right? Well then, yeah, that's what makes all your opinion is, right and mine wrong, or someone else's it, right? Don't know. Don't know. It's what you believe. It's what's in your heart. So you don't know what's right and wrong. Do I know? Well, I think I know what's right and wrong. But you could be wrong about that. Could be wrong. Could okay. be wrong. And I could be wrong. And you could be wrong. And so we really don't know. We don't know. We so don't you're know. not a Christian. Uh, I mean, obviously, because you've given up knowledge. You you you've uh, denied knowledge. Okay, well, objective morality exists, I didn't sir. You were so smart. No, that objective is, morality exists. We're all accountable to God, okay. and right. there is an actual objective standard of morality you that seem exists. To try to be confrontational with someone, whether you know I'm a Christian or not a Christian. Okay, all I'm saying to you is I support not having abortions. That's it. How do you support not having abortions? Oh my God. Really? I'm just curious. Yeah, we're just, we're like, just trying to have a conversation. Yeah, like, 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 we, like we, we go around and we engage the culture okay, all not, the time. I'm not, we, gonna, we, I'm not gonna engage in it, okay? I'm not gonna engage in so it. So you, you don't do. participate in it? No, I know. I can don't. I help you understand how you actually do participate in it? How's that? Yeah, so silence is complicity. So if you don't actively advocate for the preborn, if you don't actively advocate for justice on their behalf, especially with an objective standard to actually declare such things to other people in any kind of authoritative way, you're actually not doing anything to love your neighbor. And Jesus said we ought to love our neighbor as ourselves. You see? So like by not doing anything, like if you were in Nazi if you were in the Nazi Holocaust and you just remained silent the whole time, you would be complicit in that because you didn't do anything about it. So okay. so whether or not you actually actually perform or partake in or as assist or enable an abortion in any way shape or form, you're still complicit in the bloodshed through your silence. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's an opinion. No, actually, it's, I don't think it's an opinion. I think it's objective fact. See, I believe in objective fact because I believe in a God that I, exists and is real and living. No, I didn't say I didn't say I didn't believe in God. Well, but you don't believe in an objective standard of morality, and if God exists, there's an well, what objective does that standard mean? of morality. What does that mean? I mean, those, uh, those are some. Big it's wrong words. to murder all the time for all What's people. That? It's wrong to murder for all people in all places and all times. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah, you agree with it, but that's just your opinion. See, I'm saying it's, it's true for everyone, not just an opinion. It's a fact. It's an objective moral fact. Okay. Come on. Yeah, stand over here. No, yeah. Okay. So it's an objective moral fact. Not just I agree with it. I, it is objective whether or not I agree with it or not. See what I mean? No. No. Maybe I don't know. You got any? Maybe maybe there's some things that can help here. But I, I think it makes total sense that either. Either it's wrong to kill somebody, and that's objectively I've, true. I've, I've, we've already agreed on that. Well, we've but, but what I'm that. trying to distinguish is not just that we agree on it, mm -hmm. but that it doesn't matter if we actually agree on it or not. It's true. Well, like the why behind it. Right. Yeah. So like, so like, even if I thought it's okay to murder some people, and yeah. you did too, that would still be wrong because it's objectively true that it's wrong to kill people. Okay, is that what you wrong mean to by murder. objectively true? Yes, objectively. Okay, well, for all people in all places and all times. Okay. Now, how do you account for that? How do, do you account, account for what? How do you, Why is how, it the way that it is? How do you account for because, the rational you idea? In the United States of America, the strongest country in the world, the most powerful well, country. Well, let, let me. And what we say to our so, people that are part of this is, yeah. you have your opinions, you have your decisions, you have to make the choice. Sure. And up until recently, uh, the word, word was in the United States, Roe v. Wade. I'm sure you guys are all well aware of that is the fact that uh, people could still have abortions. But right now, sure, now they turned it back down to the states, and now states have this 
decision whether to make an abortion or not have abortion. So are, are Did you... I get that right or did, well, I, so, so did let, I mess up? No, that's well, pretty well, much here, accurate. Here's, here's, I think, the, the issue is one day America will be wiped off the face of the earth. Now, why do you say and that? And we will no Come longer on, be a nation. You're interrupting me, so respectfully, can, can, I, sure, can I answer? Sure, sure. If I was living in, say, Nazi Germany, okay, I could give... Not, excuse not me, can you allow me to answer without interrupting? <laughs> I, I allowed you to, yeah, yeah. so please please give me, give me that same obligement, okay? If I was living in Nazi Germany, I could give the exact same argument that you just gave for, say, the, the support of, of the Holocaust. You are defining morality uh, by virtue of things that are happening in a nation, the documents of that nation. But do you remember what Jesus says about truth? He says, thy word is truth. He, speaking of God and his truth. He doesn't say your word is true. It's one way to know what is truth. He says, I am the truth, the way, and the life. And my concern with you is you're, yeah. not, you're not giving the same answer that Jesus gave. So when my friend Mike here asked you what the nature of truth is, you gave the same answer that an unbeliever gave. Really? What was that? Tell me what tell you, me you, 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 you Whatever defined. My response was is that I'm an unbeliever. Well, I, did, I didn't say that. You're, well, you're twisting you my words. You gave the same response that an unbeliever would. Okay, and well, what I mean what, by what that is response? your tell response was to look to the particulars of what's going on in a nation and to allow that to define right and wrong. It, was that not your response? No, that wasn't my response. Okay. Okay. So, 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 so when Mike, to what I when, said. how about you? Uh, well, well, well you? let's let's you're, let's you're clarify. You're a quiet one. Let's there we go. Let, let me hear what you That's have not, to say. Are you yep. just going to be rude to him like that? To who? To I'm you? Just, I'm just. To he's, I'm, he's I'm just new out here. I'm just. I'm new out here. I'm just well, taking. I'm, I'm just taking. Like you have a very judgmental spirit. I'm just trying to understand like what's. Yeah, I am judgmental. It doesn't take me long to size people up. Okay. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't take long at all. Yeah. Well, I think he. Well, I think Merrick, I think what Merrick's trying to say is, and what Mike was trying to say is, we're trying to get at the why behind why something is wrong. Because we could say it's wrong today, but then what's what's to say it's not wrong tomorrow? Yeah. You know what I mean? We're trying to say no, it's it's always wrong, no matter if it's a Monday or a Tuesday. It's always wrong to murder. Yeah. It's not a it's not a choice or a decision. We have to look at the objective moral values from God to say why it's always wrong. I guess that's okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Well, let me ask you a question then. Yeah. So let's just say hypothetically. Yeah. Uh, a young girl yeah. is, uh, raped. Is, is raped by her father. Disgusting, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would, or, or for that matter, so incest. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or life of the mother. Life of the mother, or uh -huh. things like that. Yeah. Is this so cut and dry that there are no, no exceptions? Or how do, you, how do you look upon that? I mean, do you, do you believe that abortion is murder? Uh, do I believe abortion is murder? I do. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it's murder, murder is always wrong, correct? There are circumstances. There are circumstances in that... which murder is okay. Well, you got to look. Okay, you guys, it's not so cut and dry. Well, well I think murder. Well, I think murder is. Well, I guess what? What are you? Uh, yeah, we don't want to cut you off. Like so we're not talking about a parking ticket, right? Yeah. Pardon me. We're we're not talking about a parking ticket. We're talking yeah. about murder. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And so, like, what All circumstance right. would yeah. it be okay, yeah. okay. to? Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm done with you. <laughs> So I, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy guy, to be in the hot seat. This guy is at least civil, okay? Uh, okay. So he listens, he appreciates uh, okay. yeah. And now I'm going to I'm gonna talk okay, to you. Okay, I'll be the listener yeah. now. You'll okay. be the listener. So the point is... We'll just swap seats. There, yeah. there are circumstances, yeah. and I'm Catholic, in the Catholic Church, that oh. would recognize these sort of things, okay? okay? Yeah. So what would you do for a, a 10-year-old or 11-year-old child who was raped by the father with incest rape, whatever the case might happen to be, and then you would expect uh, a 10-year-old child to yeah. carry that baby forward? I mean, she's 10 years old. Right. I mean, uh, we, what, what, what are you going to do about that? Yeah. Now, granted, it's an exception. I don't mean to put you on a spot. Yeah, but, no, that's but okay. That, that one we asked you a question, so too. Yeah. That, that one's not so cut and dry, all right? The, because then you really have to have a yes. feeling for that poor child uh -huh. who got put in that situation, not by her own choice. It uh -huh. wasn't that she decided to have sex with her father. Her father sure. decided to have yeah. it, okay? Yeah. So, how do you address that? Now, granted, it's one in many, many cases, mm -hmm. but it's something that you just can't say it's so cut and dry, right? But what about, but what about so you're, I, I think I want to applaud you for um, for advocating for that 10-year-old girl. We would advocate for her as well. I guess the question I would have is what about the incest baby that she has? Who's advocating for that baby? Because that baby also has a life, correct? Well, I, I mean, there we, we never talked about it anymore, uh, but, uh, you know, you can have the child 
And you, I don't know why you don't ever talk about it. Why don't we have adoption? Why isn't that we're pro adoption? Yeah. Huh? I said we're pro, well, definitely pro adoption. But you guys never talk about it. I mean, we yeah. talked, to, I think we talked, it was mentioned this morning. We talked about <laughs> you mentioned like, this morning. I must yeah. have missed it. Mike, Mike, Mike I mean, has several You've been, you've been here kid? for like 10 minutes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, Mike, Mike, who was just here. No, you're, well, I was just saying, Mike, who was just here, has adopted children, and he has them with him. So, yeah, yeah. we're we're pro adoption. We're just saying that mur if it's murder, you agreed it's murder. We're just saying that if it's murder, we have to act like it's murder across the board, and it murder should always okay. be illegal. But we can still love the ten-year-old who's been taken advantage of. We still love them. Well, let's take it another. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's just take it a step further. So yeah. let's say you're you. Uh, you become an older adult, and then for whatever reason, you kill an individual. Yeah. Here, can I and give they, you something too? I've got something. Right. So, so then, uh, once you kill this individual, yeah. it's you determined that you, in fact, you did it was a first degree murder. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, would you then say that that person who just killed that person should be uh, put in prison for the rest of his life, or should he? There should be a capital punishment. Are we so, talking? We're talking about the mother that aborts her child. Is that? No, it, oh, I'm no, sorry. No, no, I'm yeah. sorry. I went okay. back the other way. Now. Okay. I'm, I'm now past that. Okay. Okay. We're, we're now someone. Uh, someone is killed. Okay. First degree, mm -hmm. premeditated. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Okay. Kill this individual. Okay. Do you believe, and you, you, you put, you take this individual who killed him? Okay. Should be. It's a born person that's murdered. A correct. A born yeah, person okay. who is who is murdered. Okay. And then would you then say that that individual should be? Put in prison for the rest of his life, or should it be considered capital punishment, and we electrocute him, or we, uh, you know, put drugs in him, or whatever, and it would be a, uh, you know, a death. Mm -hmm. What What is your position on well, that? Well, first, yeah. uh, the, and I'll, I'll, I will answer that directly. Yeah. yeah. It's less important about what I think. Yeah. It's about what God says, and He answers this very clearly. Yeah. yeah. In Genesis nine, mm -hmm. chapter nine, verse six, it says, "Whoever sheds man's blood, by man's blood shall blood shall he be shed, for yeah. God made man." in his own image. Uh -huh. And in the New Testament, in Romans, the 13th chapter, he says, the purpose of civil government is to bear the sword against evildoers. Jesus said, whoever lives by the okay. sword yeah. must die by the sword. Would you, so that, would you that's, agree with that? That's, that's what justice so, demands. Yeah, but you say you're, you're a little inconsistent. Well, no, no, hold on. I, I, didn't, I didn't say anything of myself. I quoted the scripture. Well, what I think I heard, okay. and I didn't hear about those, it sounds like an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That's, what Jesus, that right? that's what Jesus said, yeah. I don't think he said he, he reedited no, he, he reiterated he, he, he reiterated the but my point yeah. isn't it, sure. either you guys can answer the question sure. Sure. or not answer it it's okay yes yeah. people so, who, who so execute others murder, yeah is it okay to take that person's life mm -hmm. because they forfeited it, their life okay? that, that's what jesus says yeah, yeah okay but he says if you live by the sword you'll die by the sword you, mm -hmm. you still have killed someone so what but you've not but murdered. But you really them. believe in abortion, sure. whether you take a, a child's life right. or you take an adult's life, mm -hmm. yeah. you have to kind of stay along that same line and say, we don't take any life. You see how it's... God would say, uh, you can't take, we should go out naturally. Uh -huh. not, we shouldn't go out and take a person. You can take, Amen. you can, you can, you can kill. This person kills and then you, you put them in prison and you for the rest of their life and you throw away the key that's punishment do you and then see they, then they die then they die in the in the prison do you see how it's really really cruel mm -hmm. and uncompassionate to compare the life of an innocent unborn child in the womb with the life of a murderer you're saying these two no, lives I, I, have I'm the talk, same yeah. legal status. Talking, yeah. You're talking about taking someone's one, life. One whether has, the one has forfeited their life. life. It's but, I, but do you know there's you, a difference in that mean, scenario? No, yeah. uh, no Jesus taking, says there is. Oh, do you know what he says? Let's not talk. You don't know his words, sir. And you've shown no respect when I have said his words. Uh -huh. And you claim to be Christian, you claim to be Catholic, mm -hmm. but every time that I've quoted the scriptures, okay. you've given no reverence to them. Could we maybe... Um, because because yeah. as a Catholic, we weren't taught to interpret the Bible. Only the priest interpret the Bible. Sure. And I'm sure you already knew that because, you know, you seem like a a man who knows Jesus. But mm -hmm. but yeah. in, in the Catholic faith, yeah. we were never taught to interpret the Bible. Okay? Yeah. We listen to the Bible because there are only priests. Right. There are deacons. Uh -huh. These are people who go to school for eight, ten yeah. years sure. to learn about the Catholic religion. And the scriptures. And, and the yeah. scriptures that all go along with it. So yeah. when I go to church on Sunday mornings, yeah. I just listen. I uh -huh. don't come back out here and tell you what Jesus said because I wasn't there. I just have to listen to the priest, what mm -hmm. he tells me, because he, yeah. he, he has gone to Rome. 
He has gone to the Vatican. He has taken lots and lots of school to tell us that this is the way it is. Did you know that that's precisely the system that the New Testament authors preach against? In the book of Hebrews, in the book of First and Second okay. Peter, and, and let, let me give you one scripture real quick. In the book okay, of First Timothy, know, I don't, I don't it says there's the one mediator okay, okay. between man and God, the man, Christ Jesus. Yeah. Okay, the scripture says, I have stored up your word in my heart, not the priest, but everyone, that I might not sin against you. It says, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, reproof, correction, and training in righteousness, that the man of God may be fully equipped unto every good deed. Are, are you a man of God? Then that was written for you. That's what Paul said for you, okay. that the so, scripture so is for you. I mean, yeah. you. You quote the Bible, you quote the Old Testament, you quote the New. So you've gone to theology, you've taken theology classes. I read God's word, just like Peter so with empty handed faith. I mean, you, you, I mean, you must have had a teacher or someone who was smarter yeah. than so, you. So the Bible says, what yeah, the, Bible the church. Says. Yeah, the, the Bible says that the church is the pillar and ground of all truth, mm -hmm. but okay. a pillar upholds not, something. Did you did you take theology classes in college? I've never or taken high school, I mean, any religion classes? Um, briefly. Jesus yeah. Briefly? It, it, so it's, it's, born, it's the church. So these are, okay. The church upholds the but, but here, here's the thing. The church is not just one institution. The church is the people of God. So we learn in community, right? Yeah. But the truth is, if we don't have God's word, we, we have no standard mm -hmm. to, okay. to hold on. We have no foundation. Right. And I would challenge you, if you don't know that word, What's you don't, word is that? The word of God. Mm -hmm. Then you don't know the author of that word. Okay. And that's what he right. says. Well, you don't have to insult me now. If, I mean, no, if, I'm, if, I care for you. I care for you because... You insult me. No, I care for your salvation. At least listening. I care for your salvation. And I don't mean to be playing off. No, no, yeah. But, no, Merrick, he's the new guy. He, yeah, but Merrick, he, he and, and does care okay. for you, though. Huh? Yeah. We do care for you. I want to spend eternity with you. You don't really have to care for me. Jesus says I do. Because if you care for me... Yeah. And I uh, then kill your sister mm -hmm. in first degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you still care for me? I would want you to receive justice through the law. Okay. But I would and, want you. Can, let me finish, please. Okay. Yeah. I would want you to receive grace through the gospel, and I would present that to you. Okay. okay. Out of so, so, so yeah. then it's determined that I killed your sister, yeah. first degree murder. Yeah. yeah. And you're really now upset with me for doing that. Yeah. And they said, well, we got a choice. We can either. Put him in prison for the rest of his life sure. and throw away the key. Sure. Or we can say it's a capital punishment. Yeah. So wh where would you be on that? And, and so maybe it's not fair here's, here's, here's what I would do. Yeah. yeah. I would say you should be executed with the entire community watching. Okay. But beforehand, I would come to your prison cell and I would preach the good news to you because I want to spend eternity with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That All your right. sins yeah. can be forgiven, but sins Amen. are not crimes. Okay. All righty. I would forgive you because sins Christ forgave are me. Not crime. Right. There's different. So yeah. it's not illegal for me to lust after a woman. It's it not a, a crime, yeah. but it is a sin. Okay. So well, those two that, things that, are we different. Do agree on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and that All Catholic right. well, listen, theology. I teaches guys, that. I got hey. to hey. yeah. I'm Jay Mark. This is Merrick. Hey, I'm Merrick. Merrick. Yeah. Okay, what, nice would you be you willing guys. to read one chapter of the Bible? Um, just just next week, anytime. I'm good. Would you I'm, would you would you please do that just for me? Yeah. Please. And for me, the night the 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 quiet one. Just just yeah, the quiet one. Okay. The quiet one says. Okay. What 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 chapter? I'll, I'll defer to you. I, I would what say, do you think? Yeah, no, it has to be you. It has to be the quiet one. There we go. Uh, let's see. What chapter? I'll say John 3. No, I don't mean, I don't mean yeah. to put yeah. you on this. John 3. John 3. John 3. And you and I are, yeah. are a lot more similar than what you want to believe because sure. I don't necessarily know the Bible that way. Mm -hmm. I can't preach it, okay? Sure. And nor, nor would I want to because sure. after six, 68 years of my life, yeah. I've been a Catholic and we were never told. That's not, there are experts. Mm -hmm. So all I do is I yeah. listen. So I can never tell you, go to this chapter or this chapter. Yeah. And so that's what it is. I listen to it on Sundays and that's it. That's, mm -hmm. that's kind of, but I've been doing it for yeah. 68 years, right? Yeah. So that's, that's what it is. So, just, so that, I guess that's impressive to quote the Bible. Okay, that's it's not, not about being impressive. Yeah, no, we, it's we, about having the truth. Well, you that will lead to my forgiveness. To, right? I, mean, uh, I do know. If you're talking to a Catholic, that's yeah. not how we were taught. And, and I'm concerned that the way you're taught is not the way that Christ is taught. Yeah. But here's the thing. Okay, well, you don't know his word to be able to disagree with that. Yeah, but we're, I don't think you do either. Okay. Well, but the experts aren't right about do everything. Do right? How do you know I mean, that? <laughs> right? They're not What's wrong about everything. Right. What is it? I, I, I said the experts yeah. aren't right about everything, though. No, of course yeah. not. We just, we got, we got to test these things. You have to make it your own. Yeah. Okay. All right. And if you don't, because on Judgment Day, 
Yeah. The priest isn't going to hold your hand and give, give reason to God to allow you into his kingdom. It's true. It's going to be you and God and all the evil deeds that you've done in your life and that we've will done. be laid yeah. and that we've done will yeah. all be laid before us. Yeah. Where is your forgiveness? If you don't know that, no, hey, I got good news for you. Catholic religions already figured that out. And what, what's the answer? What's we, the atonement? We have confession. The atonement is we have confession. We go yeah. see the priest and we tell the priest these are our sins mm -hmm. and he or, listens to that uh -huh. and then he says, okay, you go back to the pew and you say these prayers mm -hmm. and then your sins will be forgiven. And then what do we do in, in life? At the mm -hmm. end of the world, we're on, the, uh, we're on our deathbed, we have last rites. And, you, and even if you're not even there, not even coherent, I've right. asked for my last rites, all your sins will be forgiven right. Right. and you go straight to heaven. So, so then, you, you see, so again, I, let, you, let, let me finish yeah, okay. and I, I yeah. wanted to explain. Yeah. Yeah. So, your situation is a little bit different, and that's okay. I, I assume you're not Catholic, or are you no. Catholic? No. Okay. So I know. I, I know many Catholics. And, There's some Catholics here okay. with us. Well, yeah. Just, just confirm with them. Is yeah. this how it really works? Sure. Because and, he, and they, then they would say no. Because, they would say no. Because, Why would they say? It? Well, I, I, I don't think that's exactly the Catholic position that you've articulated. I've tried to say, but, 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 but I, 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 I want, I'm 19, but I want, I, I, I want to go back to the important right, thing. You definitely know it. Then, I, no, I, you no, you now, now you're just being yeah. rude. The spirit of God no, is not. Have you talked about it? But, 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 but here, here's the, here, here's the issue. The, the scripture says, let no man despise you for your youth. But here's the issue. Jesus, I don't know, man. I've met him before, but I want you to know this. in your group or not in your group? Yeah, he's we're, we're not yeah. like a yeah. I mean, we're not like an official group of people. We're just yeah. Christians. And why but. is someone blowing the whistle? That's uh, not she's us. A she's a counter to drown uh, out. person. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. I have hearing Jesus, aids. So Jesus it's, prayed. It's kind this of last uh, thing. Uh, no, not Jesus prayed. If there's any other way than yeah. the cross, yeah, let it be. And there was no other way. Yeah, you didn't mention the cross. There's no other way than the cross. We didn't mention all. I didn't mention a lot of. But them. the cross is central. Yeah. Saint Paul said, "I've decided to know nothing As except Jesus fact, Christ." Cross, isn't a crucified. cross. We call it a crucifix. Let me just kind of, just kind of help Jesus you isn't on the it, cross anymore, sir. Well, he's at the right hand of God. He's, well, he's not that, still on that cross. Okay, see, this is where this is where we differ now. Yeah. And so basically, when I go to church every Sunday, uh -huh. there's the altar. Uh -huh. There's the, the tabernacle, which is where we, we get our Holy Communion. We get the body and blood of Christ. Amen. And right up on top is the crucifix mm -hmm. and the crucifix is the cross with jesus christ over the top of it i see yeah. it every sunday mm -hmm. so again let, let's be careful what you're saying yeah okay because okay. that's that's not the case okay? could the quiet one interject real quick okay. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> I, I i think kind of like maybe to yes and i think what, what merrick was one thing he was saying was you uh tradition is a big deal in catholicism correct very big deal like tradition catholic been around, tradition been yeah around for two thousand years right. right so we're just saying as as uh, protestants scripture god's word would be above tradition so we're saying any tradition that doesn't align whatever it is catholicism whatever it is just it needs to be in line with god's word that's what we're saying and so we're saying to test we're saying to test tradition whatever whatever in the catholic church you can receive after it's being tested great receive it but if you can't receive it because it doesn't align with god's word reject Amen. it that, that's all we're saying but yeah Amen. Right. Amen. yeah Amen. good so. Hey, you're, you're a smart guy. Hey, you're a smart and guy. so so is Mary. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I appreciate you but, talking with us. Less quote, especially you're talking to a Catholic. Less quoting of the Bible doesn't make me think any stronger. Now the the, the quiet guy over here just talks like with intelligence. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mer Merrick is very... He's a listener. Yeah. No, no, no. You yeah, yeah. defend Merrick. Yeah, okay. Defend Merrick. Well, so, Merrick's my friend. I like him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, if you believe that we're we're brothers in yeah. Christ, yeah, I don't, I don't think you should be so flippant in in your language, like, like that's really inappropriate for you to be like, I'm unintelligent, like maybe I yeah. am, like I don't care, like yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm a slave and saying... a fool for Christ. Yeah. Okay. But the, right. what I'm trying to say is like the way you've been treating us and referring to us is not, yeah, in humility. It's not in the humility of Christ. Okay. And, I, and I it makes, yeah. and it makes me concerned for you. Like, well, I, I don't thank know you. Wait, you know. Say a prayer for me, then, would you? I will pray that yeah. you will and, search and let me the scriptures. What are these two little fuzzy things on your uh, chest? Yeah, so sometimes we we record it just for our personal safety. Yeah. Just because there are things people come that they want to Satanists, all sorts of people and, like come out yeah. and uh, you know hang we, we, We've been assaulted before. People like say lies. People will say we said one thing, so it's just for accountability. So yeah. so so if someone says you said this, then you can just pull that out. Yeah, you, just for accountability. Just yeah. Okay. Like other guys here are body cams. Yeah. Okay. So we well, should tell people too what you got on there. I didn't realize our conversation. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 I wasn't thinking about it. It's, it's yeah. also public property, right? I mean, there's no, yeah. 
So there is that. But it, it's what private property? Public property. Public property. Yeah, right. Yeah. But so, if you're recording, yeah. we should all we should all. Yeah, kind of, I, I, know. I, I'm not here to and record I, you. I yeah. didn't bring my recorder. I, I didn't even remember that this was here. I, I was I I care for your soul, and I was having a conversation yeah. with you. So. You, yeah, for you sure. didn't know that was on here. You didn't know. No, I, I was just no, that. That wasn't the reason I had the conversation. Yeah, we, we care about you. Yeah. So. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, I appreciate it. Okay, guys. Good okay. Well, what's your name? I'm John. 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 Okay. I'll, I'll be praying John. for you. Saint John. John. Yep. Saint John. The okay. Book of John is a good place to start. Yes. That's right. John three. Yep. John All right. three. Thank you, John. I hate Catholicism. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let's Dude. pray for John real quick. Amen. Um, God in heaven, we pray for John that he will read the book of John, Lord. He does not know you, and that is very apparent. He showed no reverence for your word. He couldn't articulate the basic gospel. He didn't know about the cross, Lord. We pray that you would draw him to yourself. You would save him. Take the shackles of tradition off of him. Let him hold fast to what is good, the good tradition, Lord, the gospel. But run and flee from works righteousness. God, we pray that even you'd come to him in visions this evening and he would have no peace. He'd be unable to sleep until he searches the scriptures. And as St. Peter said, Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Amen. Amen.